back to another video from Eli Lessons Online. I'm going to be covering microeconomics today. In this video on um, the objectives of firms, okay, we're finally moving on to the next part of uh, essentially microeconomics, basically uh, moving away from what demand and supply is and moving into firms as well as what kind of decisions they make. Okay, so this is going to be like the second part to microeconomics. After this, you just have market failure left and then that is all. So this part is yes, as you may have guessed it, it is called um, the ever so daunting market structure, right? A lot of you guys hate this part, I know. But trust me, hopefully by listening to these lectures that I have for you, you'll be able to better understand what uh, market structure is all about. And hopefully in the exam, you may want to even write about it as well. All right, so jumping right in. This part of this uh, first, I mean, this first part on part 10 of, of microeconomics, I'm going to be just covering what the main objectives of different firms in the world today um, have. Okay, so the first objective that most firms, okay, is a, is a very traditional objective that most firms will have, okay, is the profit maximizing objective, right? So what essentially what the profit maximizing um, objective is, is to maximize profit. Wow, so easy, right? So essentially what you're going to try and do over here is to maximize profit in any firm. And how is that done? Okay, as some of you may have learned before, profit is equivalent to total revenue minus total costs. Alright, so this is similar to um, what we've gone through before, right? Price times quantity equals to total revenue back in your PED. Okay, but essentially profit equals to total revenue minus total cost. So in order to increase profit, okay, you will want to either increase your total revenue or reduce your total cost. So most firms want to actually maximize profit and profit maximization, okay, can only be done at MR equals to MC when your marginal revenue equals to marginal cost. So this is called the marginalist principle. Please go and learn what it is. I'm going through right now actually. Okay, in order for any firm out there to actually maximize profits, you have to have to have to produce at where your marginal revenue, which is your additional revenue from a di uh, additional good, okay, from the sale of one more unit of good, okay, is equivalent to your additional cost of producing one more good. So when your additional revenue goes to additional cost, that is where you're actually uh, profit maximizing. Okay, you some of you will have known um, of this AR and AC, right? your average revenue, average cost. Okay, that one will go through later on. It is basically the second stage of when a firm is already maximizing profit and how do they make subnormal or supernormal or normal profits instead. Okay, don't worry too much. I'll go through that in another video. All right, so the profit maximizing objective. Okay, in the real world, okay, a firm may not be able to profit maximize due to several reasons. Okay, firstly, due to a lack of inaccurate or inaccurate information okay so some firms may actually lack information okay for example on how to set prices how to reduce costs and how much the current additional revenue could be okay this is because it is hard to even estimate quantity demanded in the first place right so the amount of the the, the, the amount of quantity demanded by any consumer right could actually be even hard to determine in the market itself hence this would just lead to a ripple effect which is not which does not allow a firm to actually estimate how much revenue it is making okay moreover pricing decisions okay, are also made based on firms evaluation of the estimated demand so this is basically touching based on the second on the first point i just mentioned okay that it is all based on an estimation of what the current demand in the market is all right constraints so, there is a need for time to hire and train workers and attain new machinery. Okay, even if there's a surge, sudden surge in demand, okay, but if you guys remember, okay, demand equals to your marginal revenue, right? Okay, look back at your curves. Okay, I'll go through this part on the curves more in depth later on as well. Don't worry about it. Okay, but just know for now that demand equals to marginal revenue, which means that an increase in your marginal revenue would cause your um, marginal revenue to actually exceed your marginal cost and hence this is also not profit maximizing okay so essentially how a firm profit maximizes is only when mi equals to mc so if your additional revenue is more than your additional cost it is also a problem okay because your demand exceeds your mc which means that your demand okay um uh which are equivalent to your mr is way too high okay leading to an excess of goods being produced instead okay um, on the other hand, if your marginal cost is more than your marginal revenue, of course, common sense would say that you are also not maximizing profits in that case. Okay, so it has to be a very, very sweet spot whereby your marginal revenue will equal to your marginal cost, which is why you realize that this objective is quite unattainable in the real world, um, actually, instead. Okay, all right, so there are different types of maximizing profits. When MR equals to MC, you have normal profits. 
Uh, okay, so I think this is wrong. Okay, let's just ignore this slide and move on. Okay, it should be your AR and AC. So this part is wrong. Don't worry about it. Okay, I'm just going to move on. Okay, so alternative objectives of firms. Okay, so there could be other objectives of firms um, in the market as well. Okay, for example, entry deterrence is one of them. Okay, so firms in the real world can okay, actually be aware of potential um, firms which may want to come in and compete in the market. Okay, so in order to avoid losing the market share, okay, they may try to focus on price and non-price decisions or strategies to try and deter these firms. Okay, for example, Apple, okay, they will suddenly pump a lot into advertising such that the, in the, the demand becomes very inelastic. So as a result, any other firm which wants to try and enter will be given zero market share. Okay, no one wants to buy that product because of this um, entry deterrence strategies that another bigger firm is using. Okay, alternatively, you have revenue maximization. Very, very simply put, it is when a firm wants to aim wants to maximize total revenue in the short run. Okay, so this can be done when your margin revenue equals to zero, which means that there is no additional revenue that is being generated. Hence, your MR cannot equal to MC, which is the maximizing of profits level. Okay, and managing, uh, managerial salary is also dependent on the firm's sales revenue. Essentially, what this means is that some firms, okay, when they want to maximize revenue, it's just very simply to just maximize revenue. So they're not looking at profits. They just want to collect money and then just pay themselves with whatever that money is. So they're not looking to make more or anything less as well. Okay, so you also have got profit satisfying. Okay, what this means is that when a firm is, sat is satisfied with its, a certain level of profit, they basically stop selling whatever the good or service is okay so they just want to attain a certain level of profit instead of to maximize it for example your hawker stores small flea stores okay and then you've got market share dominance so basically this is when a firm wants to try and increase their market share okay they can actually capture a larger market share by selling a higher quantity in the market or at a higher price okay so higher price usually is very very risky so usually they want to use um, non-price competition to try and um, enter the market instead I mean to try and capture more market share okay that's how you see Apple is always trying to capture more market share from Samsung and likewise vice versa and a lot of markets okay uh, market share dominance is, is a huge thing amongst your monopolies and your oligopolies which I'll go through later on as well all right so exam requirements you just need to understand okay that the most important way in which firms um, um, can actually uh, have a very very good objective is to very simply maximize their profits Okay, so it's always derived as total revenue minus total cost and maximum profit is defined as MR minus uh, MR equals to MC. Okay, so I will go through in a different video. Okay, other the objectives which oligopoly or monopoly may also take in another video in the that video itself, right? But for this part, this first part of market structure, understand very, very simply um, what the different objectives are, okay, because it can come up for an essay question, you never know. Okay, understand that um, profit satisfying is more of, uh, it's a very, very huge thing in Singapore as well, okay, because a lot of hawker stores, they only want to um, set, um, reach a certain level of profits and they, they will close shop. Okay, if not, the most traditional objective that most firms usually um, try try to employ, okay, they try, right, not, not they, they can, okay, but they try to employ would be to maximize profits, except for your bigger firms, which tend to go for the market share dominance instead, okay, so that's all I, I have for this video, okay, I'll be going through the next part very, very soon, okay, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, okay, it does help me out a lot, as well as to subscribe to the channel, leave any questions if you have down in the comment section below, and I will definitely answer them, alright, so to the next one, um, I will see you guys then, bye-bye.